Well, it's the most festive time of the year. Hello there, troops. It's Al here from Al's Geek Lab. Sorry about the shaky camera business. I'm doing this on my mobile phone uh, because, well, just because. And you can see that I've got on the um, <clears throat> on the table my favourite list of computers, the IBM 5162. Anyway, I'm in the middle of making another video for the Geek Lab. But um, it's it's been a busy, busy old year. Uh, about six months ago, I started my own business. And I probably just wanted to explain to everyone on the channel what I've been up to and uh, also what's coming in terms of videos so this is for my patrons but also just in terms of what's happening generally in the channel in 2024 so what's been happening well you've seen <clears throat> throughout the year quite a few different videos uh, i hope you've really enjoyed them a lot of those videos were kind of passion projects that i really wanted to spend some quality time on and I was really proud of the documentary series on Gary Kildall, especially, because I thought that was a story <clears throat> that I really wanted to tell and that I thought really deserved a proper feature-length documentary. So I cut that up into three parts and, yeah, it seemed to go well. Although, for some reason, uh, the most popular videos on my channel seem to be the ones that I've worked less on. So go figure. That's just the way it is, I guess. Yay. Um, and then there has been some other smaller form videos in the middle. And whilst I've enjoyed those smaller form videos, the reason I think for most of those smaller form videos has really been due to a lack of time. The reason for that, it's probably not a big coincidence that this year, around about June, I started my own business and that takes a lot of time to get off the ground but it also uh, takes a lot of money as well and so those two things have just been basically working away so my business is a cyber security business and if everybody thinks that you know starting your own cyber security business is just a license to print money and it's an easy thing to do let me tell you it is not <laughs> but i am enjoying it so that's the main thing i guess <clears throat> Uh, but, you know, it's now coming up to Christmas, the end of the year. I've got a few days away from home, but most of the time I'll be spending here and hopefully making some video content. The thing about video content on YouTube or just anywhere really is the fact that it does actually take a lot of time when you want to do it properly. And, well, yeah, I mean, even... even Taking apart this machine that I have on the desk here, as you can see, it's in bits and pieces. Um, you know, just to take a video of the computer being disassembled and doing things on it, like fixing things up. Uh, fixing up old computers never really goes the way you want it to. So something you go, oh yeah, I'll clean the disk heads on that uh, floppy disk drive and the floppy disk drive will just magically work or I'll um, change the jumper setting on this expansion card and then I'll just change the config and everything's going to go fine. It's never fine. <laughs> and um, so I guess when you record the video of this stuff happening, you do you, you take longer because you're, take, you're taking videos from different angles. You're then when you get to editing the video, you're deciding where the video is going to be in terms of the edits so you're going to like chop it all up and all that stuff stuff takes a lot of time anyway i'm rambling i guess i just wanted to point out that um it's not that i'm not doing videos it's just that i'm trying to do the videos justice and um the reason for my last video being only sort of seven or eight minutes long is because i wanted to write a nice quick video that people would watch but also it didn't go down a rabbit hole in terms of, you know, how difficult it could be. So, yeah, I got it, got it done. That project had been sitting around for a very, very long time. It was, um, it was a friend of mine's, uh, his own Naboo computer. And I thought, 
Uh, I really need to give this back to him at some point. So I can't just keep it lying around here. I really need to open it up. And so there's tons of stuff like that. I've got a room through there with tons of projects which I haven't even properly started on. Like I've got a, an Osborne and I've got lots of ideas in my head for exactly the video that the Osborne personal computer is going to take, which is a lot of fun. <clears throat> so I got that, I, I, like I've got 70s pastiches and I've got uh, like cheesy adverts from the 1970s and all that sort of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. But I fired up the Osborne the other day and of course it was working when I put it away in the cupboard. Now it's not working at all um, or it's sort of half working. So that's going to now be a repair video as well as a video for um, what, the, what the Osborne computer was. So yeah, again, that's not something I can do on a weekend. That's something that's going to take me weeks, if I'm honest, just in terms of the time it's going to take in order to get it all working. So I just wanted to give you some ideas to where I'm at. I am making videos, um, but a lot of them are part videos. They're not completely done. So I need to just make sure that I spend some time over the Christmas period, putting the videos together, editing them, and just getting them spot on so that they're enjoyable to all my fellow uh, patrons and also to my followers here on YouTube. So uh, with all of that said, um, I just want to say um, watch the space. I've got some great ideas, great videos coming. Um, I'm not going away anywhere. Uh, just appreciate that some videos take a lot longer than others to produce and that's why sometimes you might see lots of stuff on my channel and then sometimes not. The other thing is that it's a possibility but probably not going to happen but it's a possibility that I might have an early Christmas present for me. It's currently the 22nd of December so the Christmas present is 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Now I actually set myself a goal of having 10,000 subscribers by the beginning of 2022. I've got it written down on a ideas list for the channel. Um, so okay I haven't met my goal. I'm a year off the goal but I'm not too upset about it. But at the moment <clears throat> we're something like 300 subscribers away from the final countdown. We're about 300 odd subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers to the channel. It would be absolutely wonderful if uh, you could tell your friends about the channel, uh, if you like the channel of course. Tell them about the channel, get them to subscribe to the channel and hopefully we can bump that number uh, into around 10,000 subscribers and that would be a wonderful Christmas present for me but also for you I dare say. A uh, nice little way to go out on the year. It's been, it's been great. I've had so many collaborations and so many uh, different bits of input from so many of you over the last year. So many great comments, uh, so many um, interactions through uh, Patreon and also opened up a Substack account as well. Um, so you can follow me if you don't like Patreon, you can go to the Substack as well. And so yeah, if you haven't checked out Patreon or the Substack, I invite you to just Go over there, you can sign up for free, you don't have to pay any money. And I've got little, you know, articles which are exclusive to people, whether regards, regardless of whether you pay on Substack or Patreon. You can still, some sometimes there's free articles and videos on there as well. Like this one, I'm putting this up there, of course. Uh, but it's just a nice other place to consume content. And maybe you prefer those places as well. But there's definitely exclusive content uh, that you will not get anywhere else. And of course, every video is released without any ads and uh, you'll get the full length version of whatever it is and you get an early access as well. You don't have to wait around on YouTube. All my videos co that come out on YouTube are released probably three or three or four days or maybe a week earlier than when they come out on YouTube. So you get early access to all the videos that come out. And it's, yeah, it's completely ad-free. You don't have to leave the, the platform and go onto YouTube. You can go straight onto Substack or onto uh, Patreon and visit and view the, the videos uh, straight over on, on those platforms. So that's cool. Um, if you've got any ideas for the channel, as I say, I'd love to hear from you. 
love to um, hear what you're doing for Christmas and for the New Year period. Um, but anyway, that's that's all I had to say. I really appreciate your um, being a member of this wonderful channel that I call Al's Geek Lab and seeing how it's evolved. Um, I know the channel has actually been around for a very long time, I think 2012, but I actually made it brand Al's Geek Lab in 2019. And uh, one of the big first things on it was the documentary series Back to the BBS. And that was a really good, fun learning experience. And, uh, you know, the, the, the quality of the videos, hopefully uh, you would agree, has gone up and up and up ever since the first um, first stuff on, on the YouTube channel. So anyway, that's all I've got to say. Uh, it's been a great 2023. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Stay safe. Enjoy your holidays. And I'll see you in 2024. Till then, ta-ra.